Hi, I'm Suresh for Susan and here we will discuss about Trojans. Trojans are basically used by the hackers to access the system. But here we will see that how we uh, mango people can use the Trojan. Uh, generally it happens when you are far far away from your home and you just want to access your system but uh, because there is no one in your home so you are not able to uh, get uh, remote access to your PC or you are not able to access the PC so here I will show you that how you can access your PC from far far away with the help of thousands for that we will go to uh, desktop mode so here we have our desktop mode and uh, we will switch to virtual machine we have installed Windows XP and uh, just Okay, so here I have these 2.07 and uh, I will extract it on the desktop. We will download it uh, from uh, my blog where I provide a link. Uh, I'm not 100% sure that it's a clean zip but I believe it's uh, a clean zip so you can use it. Here I have these 2.07. I will click on that and I have a window of these 2.07. Here you can see a lot of things like host port and go beast option port, build server, plugins, blender and a lot of things but I will simply click here on build server. So here we will discuss two things that how hackers use the Trojan and how we can use it for our home purpose. Uh, there are many quite interesting features of beast 2.07. But first we will create a server and uh, in between I will just tell you everything over that. So first what we have to do uh, here have SIN port and listening port. Here you have to provide a password so that only you can access your home PC. 3, 4, 5, 6, it's up to you what should be the password. And uh, now here click on inject in explorer.exe. Uh, well, when uh, hackers create a server, they uh, just choose any of the option here, or they can use Notepad EXE or whatever they just want to inject the server with it, so that when the window will uh, on, the server will execute with the explorer.exe. Now, the second thing is notification. Here is the option of SIN and email. What exactly here uh, need uh, of email? Generally, uh, when hacker uh, wants to hack your system, uh, as I have told you, they use these uh, any uh, thousand like the uh, uh, common dark and uh, there are a lot of more. But uh, when they create the server and uh, to run the server, they need your IP address and the port address. So for that, they uh, simply put their email here or whatever it is abc and at the rate gmail or whatever it is and they just uh, put uh, here the email address and save the server for you when you uh, your system is online a mail is automatically sent to the hackers email address in which uh, uh, your IP address and the port address is uh, uh, mentioned so with the help of that the hacker get your IP address and the port address and uh, he could be able to access your uh, computer here one more option that is get SMTP uh, SMTP is known as simple mail transfer protocol uh, it's a protocol uh, uh, used in um, transferring of emails and email service basically using email services so uh, if here the domain is gmail.com and uh, click here get SMTP we will have different SMTP um, it will take a little bit. okay here is gmail SMTP but we don't need it because we know what is our IP home IP address and uh, the port address so we don't need to set up this thing basically uh, this setup is done by our hackers but 
so we will move forward as a startup here are three options let it be as it is here are three again three options kill AV and AYS kill AV for every five seconds uh, that's uh, is used when hack, uh, hackers basically click these settings so that uh, uh, the antivirus don't interrupt them when they are trying to access your computer disable XP firewall firewall uh, are the program which uh, control the in, uh, incoming and outgoing uh, data so you simply click here so there will be no problem here uh, here if I will click here I have run it for ok here my firewall is on but when I will click on the server when I will create it and when I will click on it the firewall is automatically off as I click here XP firewall disabled now third thing is MICS and here are uh, the option is enable keylogger keylogger are the program which uh, stores the keystrokes of your computer uh, generally hackers use it uh, actually we can use it if uh, we want to monitor that uh, what is going on uh, on our home PC so if you will write here um, your act whatever your email address and remember one thing if you will change it to reddit mail or gmail you have to click here on get smtp and now we have the smtp and click here now when someone will log in with our home pc and uh, whatever he will do it will sent to our email address which we just mentioned here so that's also a good feature if you just want to monitor your home PC that's what's going on what your children are doing what your friends are doing all about and here is the most powerful thing which hackers use fake error message they simply uh, what they do uh, they simply attach uh, the server with uh, a software with a free software and they provide you when you click on the software or exe file it uh, shows a message uh, like that uh, the application has been failed to start because this file is not found and you think that's a finance software but there will be some problem while downloading so you just let it as it is so whenever next time this type of uh, situations come to you please assure that you are not uh, clicking on any server or any uh, dealing with any frozen so I am choosing this one ok and cancel and click on ok and uh, here one more option clear restore point the hackers use because you could not uh, go to your previous store point and can access your computer and exe icon now I will save this over here you can see uh, icons um, so that no one can uh, underst uh, understand or catch that etc and I am using this but there is no uh, need if you are using it for your home PC and I will simply click on save server here a message comes the server has been saved with your settings in current directory and ready running and here I have a server good and I will click here and close it and uh, now one more thing uh, here uh, another option binder binder is used to bind two files actually hacker what exactly does they simply attach this server or bind this server with a exe file so that you could not understand that it's a server uh, I can attach these two files and uh, the server file and the uh, java installation 
exe so that if I just want to uh, send it to a victim but here I'm not going to discuss it but I will show you how this happens here's binder and um, okay something is wrong I will okay it's opening just wait here is the option I will add the file I can add any two files and bind it together so but there is no need because I am doing this for home PC and uh, I know uh, that there is no need to do that I will do that and uh, here the server now when I will click on the server a message will come and here first we will check it out new firewall is turned on and device software might not be stalled and uh, all this and here is the error message this application has failed to start because ms come whatever it is was not found and restalled application as i have told you before that it will happen and i will click on ok now the server has been installed my computer as i am using it for my home computer i know what is the IP address my home computer so I will simply uh, just fill the blank with my IP address and the port and here I will provide the password which I provide while I build the server and I will click on go beast then I will click on go beast and if my home PC is online I will be connected with my home PC after that I can do a lot of things with that here uh, manager if I will click on files or registry I can change any registry I can delete the registry option is a screen I can see the screen uh, on my desktop uh, what's going on in my desktop and uh, if you just want to see that who is operating your home PC if you will click here webcam you can see that who is in front of your PC apps processes and a lot of things are here if you will click on uh, windows here are a lot of options like hide all crash don't click here if you will do so you will crash your home pc another option power off reboot you can perform all the tasks by clicking here simply and there are a lot of stuff fun stuff and uh, what you have to do just go through and find out all the stuff but one more thing generally we use beast uh, uh, when we just want the remote access to a home computer or any other computer but I will suggest you if you just want to uh, handle your computer remotely you should use remote desktop software which you can easily find out on the blog I have mentioned um, about remote desktop on um, uh, the category is hacking and tips if you will go through that you will find out uh, the remote desktop software which are free to use and quite safe than frozen and I will suggest you uh, not to okay here is the remote access software and here is the description about remote desktop software so you can use it it is quite simple and uh, there are many more that's like team vivo lock me in vnc and ma remote pc and a lot of more so you can use it and uh, do not use it for hacking and uh, legal purpose I will person suggest you and uh, if you are not a professional do not use bees and if you just want to try the bees use it in virtual machine else you will uh, ruin your operating system or you mess with that so that is all about beast and there are many more thousand like uh, uh, dark comment but we will discuss it later that is all about Beast and Trozen. Okay, so we have uh, seen that how to create a Trozen and uh, how to use it, but uh, usually these Trozens are 
detected by any antivirus uh, which are generally encrypted by the hackers so that it could not be detected but I'm not going to show you how it happens because that would be illegal and uh, uh, that is all about Tauzin if you are not a professional do not use the Tauzin uh, instead of that you can use uh, many remote desktop software for accessing the system and that's all about dozens and accessing the system and I will catch you next video I will show you different more things of technology